about as much of this as I wanted to get done today. But um, there, look at this fucking rack. Um, so the next shelf for me to work on is this one, shelf three. There's another shelf down there, but there's no plans to populate that yet. At least not the next couple of months. Um, what I need to do is replicate this. Well, actually, probably this one because I've got some neater wiring in it. Look at that. It looks alright. It's not so bad. Um, I've got 30 kilowatts of batteries inside. They're on charge. Uh, there's 30 there, and there's 30 there, and then sometime in the next couple of days there'll be 30 here. Um, the rack itself is just uh, made out of some 50 mil square. I'll um, pop a picture up here of it. Uh, we just made it on the ground. Um, the material, there's some neoprene here, but there's some, uh, what do you call it, perlin? This, this shit. Um, it was just some offcuts from Amadeus Steel. Um, old matey accidentally cut it wrong and then he had to sell it to us on the cheap, so I nabbed it because it yeah, can distribute a bit of weight across it. It's a fairly light material. Um, we just welded it together. Uh, with a little baby MIG, got it home here. Oh, it's not the greatest water in the world, but it, it'll do. Um, yeah, we've sandwiched the batteries here with a bit of neoprene. Um, got the factory bus bars that we that came with the batteries. Then we got some from Alttech. Alttech's awesome, but they're slightly smaller than these ones. So I, then I had to take a die grinder to these bloody things and hollow them out. Um, to make it fit across with the neoprene in between. It's really irritating. But uh, either way, um, rack is on wheels. So, ooh, have I got any wires? Should have checked that out. You, um, if you pop this breaker, you can't actually pull the rack out. Um, that's not intentional, it's just an accident. I've got these JK BMSs, they're the two amp active balancer. I haven't mounted the switch yet, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'd really prefer the switches all to be at the front here, maybe up in the corner. Like this top shelf is 50 mil bigger than the other shelves. What I'd really like to do is have some screens running across there maybe that tell you what each of the packs are doing as long as you can uh, clean it. All right, I'm gonna clean the third shelf off. Um, I've got some more of this matting to go underneath the batteries. It's probably unnecessary, but it's what I've done everywhere else, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. Uh, we'll cut all the bits that go in between the batteries, um, so it's just a matter of wonking them on there and sticking the uh, sticking the rubber in between. It's fucking day four, and I'm still waiting for bloody things. <sighs> Come on, you wankers! I should have bought more charges. Alright, so we're going to install some of this, uh, just some neoprene plastic, I think that's what they call it anyway, it's, it's just from Bunnings. We're going to put some of this inside, uh, in between the cells because they have a tendency to bulge as they charge and discharge. Uh, and hopefully uh, when we compress them that'll, that'll give us a little bit more lifespan. Fortunately, these things have got, on the positive side, they've got an extra note here. Um, this sticker tells you that this is the positive side. So like the other cells, um, just give a look at these ones. So that's the negative side, that's the positive side. It sort of helps us not to, not to wire them up wrong. Um, so I'm going to use those stickers here to align all the batteries. And then before we actually install the, uh, the bus bars, I'll go through and do a sanity check. Check the polarity of every single one and make sure that I don't have any backwards. 
Uh, one of the extra benefits of um, having this uh, is that it'll help prevent rub throughs on the batteries. Obviously, this plastic's not the most hard wearing thing in the world, and you get a foreign body in between, or even just the general expansion and contraction of the battery itself, you, you could end up rubbing through the insulation. So, this will just give us an extra added layer of protection. Vas a tener que hacer algo, que Uh, batteries are in the rack, um, we're putting the bus bars on, we're going to do a sanity check with a multimeter shortly and then we're going to start running all these balance leads in. Alright well, it's in, um, as you can see on the ground there it took way longer than we thought, and, uh, quite a few more beers than we expected. Um, I was wrapping the balance cabling in this tester tape, but it, all it's doing is obscuring where the wiring is, right? Like, it, I, it looks nice, um, but it just obscures uh, any troubleshooting. So, I've decided to, like, leave some parts exposed, so I've got an area where I can start cutting. I did it here, um, because I wasn't confident this shrink wrap was protecting it as well as it should. And on the top, I just fully covered it. And I don't think that was the best idea in the world. Like, all right, it's not the neatest wiring in the world but I mean it's a lot of wires right and if you got to troubleshoot it you want to be able to intercept the wire somewhere and see if you've had a short or a break or something so I've sort of semi wrapped this particular shelf um, I feel like that'll do for the time being it's it's gonna get pushed into the corner and no one's ever gonna see it so functionality is probably more important than making it look pretty you know so anyway, um, we've created more mess by doing what we've done today. So I've got to clean that up and then I'll push this back. I've got to move the other MPPT up here into the corner. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's essentially, oh, I can't, oh, it's getting heavy to move. It's essentially 90 kilowatts all on the rack, ready to go. Um, we've already turned it on. Um, well, actually what I should say is we didn't turn it off, but I've adjusted the Victron now, so it knows it's got 1800 amp hours of uh, lithium batteries. So yeah, 90 kilowatts. Happy fucking days, let's see how it goes.